Of all time, you chose to consult me, fellow kindred. You came for answers and advice. I'm afraid tonight is not the case. The lead sky pours mirror thick raindrops, reflecting my questions, my doubts about the world, our condition, myself. What happens when you want to reach your hands to the world, heal its afflictions and take away its pain, but its collective shadow devours you? What happens when you do your best, but it is never enough? When you fail to protect what you love the most? What do you do then? What does that make you? You may think you've been lucky so far, but don't fool yourself. You will ask these questions at some point. Eternity can be full of ethical questions if you manage to keep your own life and sanity. I don't know about you, but I had no choice in the matter of our life. I did not choose this torment, this loss, this burden. Don't look behind you. She is here for me, holding a knife. My heavy consciousness brandishes the sharp blade of guilt. I am cursed by the one thing I craved to heal in others, the sickness of the mind. Doesn't being empathic in a senseless world make you mad? How do you perceive this world when your senses are twisted? What can you rely on when your thoughts are not your own, when your very memory fails you? And what happens when things that make no sense have meaning? Is this madness or logic? The only sensible choice is to embrace this new perception with childish curiosity. Fighting against it is madness, and you will lose yourself to it. Same way our sane siblings lose themselves, totally oblivious to this. Their actions speak the truth of my words. Knee deep in this family feud, pitting against each other to prove who's the boss. Calling us madmen is pure irony. We love with pity for them. They are delusional, narcissistic, paranoid. They hide the whole spectrum of insanity under the carpet of sense. Kindred society is the prime material for group therapy. Want some advice? If you have to trust someone, trust yourself. And if you trust your thoughts no longer, go with what the heart demands. Even if it's pumping no longer, it knows what it wants. My unbeating heart screams, I need peace. And I scream back, I am sane, no more. So that we might uh, both be in peace. For now. Ha 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 